Hi Scorpio, how y'all doing? Hope you're doing well. Star Lord is here to do your weekly forecast from the 20th to the 26th of August. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them all out for your reading. Let's go ahead and see what kind of energies are around for you. First off, we have the energies of the Knight of Cups in the upright position, followed then by the Knight of Swords in the upright position. And next we have the Two of Swords in the upright position. And then we have the Seven of Cups upright. And lastly, we have the Three of Cups in the upright position. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and interpret this read for you. Um, first off, for your overall energy for the week, you have the Knight of Cups in the upright position. Well, this could be your own energy, Scorpio. Um, this is a court card, so it could be representing a person. If it's representing a person, it could be representing someone of the water signs, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. So it could be for some of you, maybe you are dealing with, um, with another water sign. And um, if it's not them, then it could be you, your own energy, representing the Knight of Cups in the upright position is someone uh, coming along to make an offer of something. It could be anything, maybe if it's your energy, maybe some of you want to ask someone out on a date. Some of you perhaps want to um, offer a night out, uh, something fun to do, something creative. Um, it could be going to a concert or doing anything that emotionally fulfills us. Either way, the Knight of Cups energy is really nice energy. So if you're dealing with this as a person, it could be this person is very important during this week of the 20th to the 26th. And uh, it could be that um, you're uh, getting, like I said, an invitation from this person or uh, an offer of some kind. So something is definitely up and is headed your way, Scorpio. Next, you have coming into the week, the energies of the Knight of Swords in the upright position. Well, again, another court card could be representing a person, could be re representing someone of the air signs, which is Gemini, Libra, uh, Aquarius. Could be for some of you, um, this person is rushing in to um, give you some information or to talk to you about something important. Um, either way, this knight rushes in very quickly. He's got something to say, he's got something on his mind, and he wants to talk about it. Now, if this isn't uh, representing a person, it could just be representing his energies. Maybe there is an urgency to uh, speak on a certain subject. Maybe you need to speak to somebody uh, quite swiftly about something that is going on or something that is important to you in your life. Either way, this is very quick energy. Um, it could be for some of you the beginning of the week. This person comes in and uh, wants to have a heavy duty conversation or it could be that they want to bring you some information about uh, something that is important that pertains to you. So you have two nights here of um, one offering information and the other offering um, some emotional uh, offer. So this is interesting, uh, perhaps for some of you, you're dealing with two different people, others of you, it could just be like I said, your own energy, maybe you are offering something to someone, that maybe it's the Knight of Swords, and, um, and it could be that you have a need for conversation. Now, it's paired with the Two of Swords in the upright position, which is a need to make a decision. So, um, this is, again, the energy from the beginning of the week. And the Two of Swords is somebody who is uh, needs to figure out whether to go right or to go left. And the blindfold is on, so there's something about the situation that um, needs clarifying, needs something to be cl made clear. So it could be that uh, you're not making a decision due to the fact that you don't have clarity on the matter. And perhaps this is where the Knight of Swords is coming in to try to bring in said clarity and uh, in order for you to make a decision or perhaps the information that this one is bringing in is uh, something that's causing you to feel like you need to make a decision about something. And then interesting moving towards the week end, you have the energies of the Seven of Cups in the upright position. The Seven of Cups generally speaks of, um, of multiple off uh, offers or options. Now, this could be in the emotional realm for sure because it is cup energy. Uh, this is, 
needing to make a choice though again there's two cards here of needing to make a decision but the seven of cups energy is really interesting because there's a lot of options but some of the options are not really viable or not really doable um, they definitely need a closer look so it could be that um, if the either one of the because there's two people in the reading potentially coming in offering you uh, information or offering you something on an emotional level but it looks like there is a definite need to make a uh, decision here and make a choice because the Seven of Cups can be very confusing energy. So especially when you have the Two of Swords in the in the read as well, there is some confusion going around this week. It looks like for some of you, uh, need to clear up a matter and to take a very close look, like with a magnifying glass, close look at all of these uh, options and these decisions that you need to make. Now going towards the weekend, you have beautiful energy of the Three of Cups in the upright position. Again, Cups, it's emotional fulfillment. Uh, this is on um, a social level, generally, the Three of Cups is when we're getting along. Perhaps some of you on the weekend are uh, going to a party, some of you are hosting a party, maybe you're going to a wedding, or uh, just generally getting together with some friends, a uh, family reunion, or any type of thing where close-knit people get together and have a really really good time and it's uh, definitely uh, good on the emotional front you have three cup cards here in the read this main one being that of the knight of cups and ending off with the three of cups you do have the seven of cups however this is about uh, multiple choices maybe towards the weekend this is just uh, simply saying that some of you have a lot of different options to um, spend your weekend maybe you have a couple of different offers from different people that want you to um, you know hang out with them or chill with them so it could be that that's what's going on here but it looks like whatever it is you do choose you choose uh, wisely because it shows you at the end of the read having a really good time going into the weekend so this is overall a very positive energy there just seems to be a need to make a decision and there could be a couple of people involved and this is why you have to make uh, this decision so either way, it looks like uh, you do end the, the week on an up note, definitely with the Three of Cups. Nice energies to see for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this reading, Scorpio. If you did, please feel free to like, share, subscribe. Until next time, you guys, thank you very much for tuning in. Have a wonderful week. Okay, bye for now.